Hey guys, welcome. Endeavor OS KD Plasma 6.3.3, hot off the press, using a 6.13 series kernel. Just installed this a couple of three days ago. So this is 327 2025, not sure when you're watching this. So I'm filming on uh, in Wayland environment today in 4K mode, 200%. So adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So today I'm going to talk about software packages. I'm sure a lot of you users know how to install either Pac-Man or Yay, uh, but how about details? Getting detailed information about maybe all the packages you have installed, a summary, or details on those packages of software. That's what I'm going to talk about today, if you're interested. All right, welcome. I have a little text file for you. I'll try to do these in order. Feel free to make screenshots. Now, before you run away, would you like to uh, know what they do? Uh, if you want to experiment on your own, then I'll say thanks for watching. But for the folks that want to know what these things do, then hang on. So I'm going to open up a uh, terminal or console. Uh, Sam is our made up name user. I'll make that larger for you. I'm going to dump up my history buffer. I'm going to work from that using some line codes instead of typing everything out. The number one command that you probably are going to learn is pacman-q. Pacman-q is what you have installed. Okay, that's the first command I have in the list anyways. So I'll do most of these in order, but when I get to qm, I will probably run this command first. I'll let you see the relationship on the two. But let's do 239. I'm going to do line numbers because you know, this is born again shell, so as providing these commands are good, um, then I can run them because your born again shell records everything. I'm going to do a 239 explanation point 239. So it processes that command. These are installed packages A through Z. I'm not going to go to the top. I'm going to punch up clear and type in history again. All right, let's move to the next one. So that was a total. Now the QS is interesting. You can actually use uh, pacman-qs and the actual name of the package. So we're looking for installed stuff. So um, is there one in here for, there's a QL Firefox. Let me scroll up a little bit. There's 230. So I'm gonna run a 230, which is a pacman QS Firefox, 230. This way I don't have to type these in. It makes the video a little faster. So it gives me a listing now. Pacman-QS space Firefox gives me Firefox local, the version number, and what it is. It's a browser. Okay, let's go to the listing again. All right, so I have a QM in the list. Now I'm going to drop down and go to 16 and then come back to QM. You'll see the relationship in a second. Punching up clear. So um, we know how to use yay commands, I'm sure, for installs, but do you know what this one does? That's going to be a summary. It's a very powerful command at the same time. Uh, total install packages is 1,030 for me. Foreign packages installed are 2. The explicitly installed are 218, and total occupied 6 gigs plus. Size of the Pac-Man cache, size of the yay cache, and top 10 biggest packages consuming stuff. It's a quick command, but very useful. These foreign packages, um, in my case, are installed from AUR. Uh, you, you, if you manually install that, may be added to that list, but mine are AUR. So this time I'm going to use this command from this list called Pacman QM to list those. I'm doing this manually. So big Q, small M will give me those two packages. So those got installed uh, using AUR. Those are packages found in the AUR. Not a big deal, but thought I'd show you the relationship between these two. Let's go back on topic. All right, now I'm going to use the QII, and there's also QI. Those are two derivatives of getting detailed information. So punching up clear, let's do uh, Firefox. 
So it is Pac-Man dash Q I I space Firefox or any other package for that matter. Details. Firefox version number, browser, URL, dependencies, optional dependencies, etc., etc. I'll use the other one by removing one eye and hitting enter. The last line reads validated by. The other one read extended data on the bottom. This is the one with the single eye, and this is the one with the two eyes. Punching up clear. Going back to my list. All right, so the QE is basically a list of explicit install from repos. So let's do that one manually. Pacman dash QE as an echo. And there's the listing for that. Now you can also add the ENT on the end. So QENT is also another derivative. I believe that one is uh, the same thing, lists explicit installed repo uh, packages and uh, but doesn't have uh, uh, not direct options for dependencies. Now, a lot of these you may not use and some of them you may use. I showed you what yay uh, ps does it's very powerful it gives you a summary but what about this grep thing well this one is harder to remember by most folks and uh, pacman log is what I'm, we're going to be looking at now today's date is uh, 327 2025 so i installed this about three days ago so we're going to find uh, that grep command in my history buffer because i don't want to have to type it start with clear So let me look through my list of stuff. All right, line code 227 has that command. So all we're doing is we're gonna be grep for installed uh, using that Pac-Man log. So uh, 227 it is. Explanation point 227. Instead of me typing that in there. All right, so uh, Pac-Man dash Q M as a reminder of what the, that package is on the on the bottom. So that's that GPU screen recorder. That's the thing I'm using right now. And more importantly, that one has a green reference number on it versus this one is in brackets. But more importantly, there's the date. 3.23 is when I installed this. Around 1600. So these are install and you can find a whole bunch of stuff in here. Okay, so, I mean, I can keep scrolling forever, but I'm not. I'm gonna close that. So hopefully you found these useful. Thanks for watching.